Uh, enjoy oh, the talk great. as well. I forgot <laughs> my call. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let me just start formally. Uh, okay. Yeah. Why not? Uh, yeah. So, hi everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Heather Shah. Welcome to the Carlos platform. Uh, today, we have very interesting and very nice personality with the expert and the uh, very renowned speakers uh, we have together. So, take the opportunity to ask the questions and learn from their experiences, whatever they experienced as we say that the, we learn from the history. So they will be telling you their success stories and their history, what they faced and how they solved that thing and how can you overcome the different issues which actually arise during your MPhil, MS and PhD journey. It's very easy journey, but people make it very difficult. So don't be afraid of the recent <laughs> journey. It's very lovely journey. So today that's why we have uh, invited these speakers so that they could tell you that yes, it's a very enjoyable journey. So uh, let me just formally uh, introduce the first speaker. Uh, today we have the first guest speaker is the Professor Leonardo uh, De Silva. He is a full professor and researcher. He teaches the marketing and he taught at various universities, particularly the Department of Hospitality and Tourism in the Brazil. He teaches the food and yeah. management at the professional master's degree. He has published numerous research papers and had been a reviewer for many journals, like, for example, Brazilian Journal of Marketing, Brazilian Journal of Tourism Review, etc. And he has delivered a lot of uh, speeches to at different level uh, platforms, conferences, including Pakistan, India, Philippines. And he has been working with a lot of research collaboration in different uh, countries. Uh, the research line he has is the consumer psychology, strategic management in food and beverages. And other his research projects currently are studies in the business management in food and beverages, the inventory of uh, mm -hmm. restaurant services and companies, etc. So yes. he's a multi-talented expert in the field. And today he will be sharing his experiences with us. And he will answer the student questions regarding the PhD and their journey. Welcome, Professor Leonardo. And we have the second guest, uh, who is uh, Mr. Kashif, uh, Mohammed Kashif Said. He is currently working with the Gift University as an assistant professor in the business school with 15 years of full teaching uh, experience and within uh, uh, Pakistan as well as a visiting professor in several countries. He has published 55 articles <laughs> with international journal, uh, journals of repute. Recently, he has successfully managed a call for papers with British Food Journal as a guest editor, which is a 120 years old outlet for scholarly publication. And moreover, he, he has published various cases among his notable contribution in writing the cases in the publication of cases in textbook by Valley and, the, uh, and a case study with, published with the Emerald. Uh, in addition to that, teaching and research. He is working with the Emerald Publishing as a brand ambassador and he has offered online and on-site training programs in a country such as Malaysia, Indonesia, Sri Lanka and Morocco. He has offered more than 50 uh, training programs as a lead trainer. Academically, the workshops which he conducts are the writing and publishing for journals, qualitative and quantitative research methods, qualitative data analysis, supervision, teaching in higher education. And along with that, he is a corporate and trainer as well. He has offered training and consultancy in the field of international branding, the customer regression management, employee volunteerism uh, at a workplace, etc. Uh, Mr. Kashif has worked with the world renowned academician and researcher in Asia, Europe, and Africa, and brings a diverse experience as an academic as well as a trainer consultant for a corporate world. These days, he is uh, working over a half dozen uh, projects with the researchers from Russia, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Italy, and USA. Moreover, he is the editor of South Asia Journal of Marketing, Emerald Publishing as well. A very warm, warm welcome to you, uh, both of you, uh, Sir Kashif and the thank Professor Leonardo. Uh, welcome to the Carlos platform thank and you. thank you for joining us. I think we should start with the question answer session since uh, students are waiting and the professionals are waiting to. Uh, address their uh, question, which they are eagerly waiting for a very long period. 
So their first question, uh, let me just ask uh, Professor Leonardo, that uh, their first question, their first concern is uh, how to select a research topic, uh, whether we should select a topic from supervisor point of view or we should opt because most of the time we recommend to the student that go for your interest topic. They say if we go for an interest topic, it means we are the people who are taking the lead and then the field mm -hmm. may not be the good may not be the right one to select because of the lack of the experience and expertise. So they want to ask the thing that should, should we take the supervisor uh, role and supervisor experience expertise and then we take the uh, topic or should we come up with our own topic with the less knowledge? Okay, first of all, good morning from Brazil. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy uh, to be here with you all. I really love Pakistan. I have many friends from Pakistan, wonderful people. I have made many friends and I welcome all students uh, that are on Zoom or on YouTube. Yes. And first of all, even though we are talking about science, about thesis, matters, I want to frame this talking as a talking among friends. Yes. No matter if you are a professor or a student, we are always learning. We are always sharing uh, knowledge and learning to each other. And this process of learning, no matter if it is in the graduation level or master level or PhD level, it mm -hmm. must be cool, mm -hmm. enjoyable. You don't need to suffer uh, when you decide to study because studying opens the doors to you, to your community, to your society, and makes you better. And studying is fantastic. In fact, studying fantastic, you learn different things. Um, Dr. Heider, I have prepared some yes. short slides to present. Sure. To the audience, can I yeah, use yeah, this? Yeah, sure, please. Can I answer the questions? Yes, why not? Why not? That would I will be wonderful. Brief and then we focus on questions and answers. Yes. If I can answer all questions, <laughs> just a second. Yes. Just a second. I want to introduce myself because even though we are geographically yes. far, we are we Brazilian and Pakistan have many things in common. Yes. Our flag is green. We are kind people. We love talking. We love celebrating. We are very religious people as well. Yes. And I want to present a little bit of myself. Right. Uh, as I told you before and introduced, my name is Leonardo. My full name is Leonardo Aureliano da Silva. Yes. Silva is the most common name in Brazil. Okay, right. Uh, yes, many people have Silva in the name. Mm -hmm. I'm married with my loved wife, Daniele. We have a cute son, Benjamin. Okay. He is almost uh, four years old. Okay. In Brazil, we write Benjamin with N, not N. <laughs> in Portuguese, N. All right. I was born and I live in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is the biggest financial capital of Brazil. All right. We have many famous companies here, very famous universities. Brazil, mm -hmm. South America. Our native language is Portuguese. Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Portuguese. We don't speak Spanish. We speak Portuguese. Mm -hmm. And That's our true. Portuguese is different from Portuguese from Portugal. Okay, uh, we have our single Portuguese. What do Brazilians like? We like food. This is one of the reasons I like to study food and beverage. Yes. We like parties, <laughs> celebrations. We have carnival. We have many parties. Right. We work hard. We are working. We Brazilians work hard. Uh, we love to learn about culture and we always welcome foreigners. We are very kind people in general, uh, very friendly, 
As you can see, we are talking a few minutes and it, lo it looks like we have met each other for years. <laughs> we are very supportive, active. I can talk for one, two hours here about different things. We are religious people. Here in Brazil, we have uh, Catholic, Muslims, Protestant, and other religions. And we live very well. And we are passionate people. We love people. We love to be with friends. During this time, yes. pandemic, it has been hard to us because we love to, to have to be together with friends. And my academic experience, oh, it was, it has been a wonderful, a wonderful path. You know, graduation, master, PhD, and postdoctorate. Yes. And I can see that I missed this time. I, I faced many challenges mm. during this time. When I started graduation, I didn't even have money to oh. pay for the bus to come back home. Sometimes I came back on foot from the university because I had to work during the day and went to the university during the night. My family didn't have money to support my studies. I had to pay for it. But thanks heaven, I got it. <laughs> After a long time, I started working as a trainee. Yes. Then I became coordinator, manager in companies. Mm. And sometime something happened. I was invited to work as a professor in the university. And I asked myself, oh my goodness, to be a professor? What is that? How does that work? Because if you are in a company, you are a manager, you say, mm -hmm. do that, and that's okay. But when you are in class, it, this is not this way. You yeah. need to be patient. You need to help your students. You need to understand. You need to say, please, pay attention about what I'm saying. And it's quite different, the relationship. Yes. Then I, I did my master, and I want to share with you all that when I was doing my master uh, in Brazil, you have two years to do your master, okay? In the first year, you have to study the subject, and then you have to develop a product and your, your dissertation. Okay. In Brazil, master, of course, we call it dissertation, the final work. And then I took one year to develop my product, then my supervisor was dismissed from the university. Mm -hmm. And imagine that I had my project done and my supervisor was dismissed oh. from the university. Oh. oh my goodness, because here and maybe in our country, you have time to finish. Yes. Otherwise you are failed. Then I had a new supervisor and we talked about my product, and he told me, Leonardo, I, I respect your previous project, but I don't understand nothing about that. Yeah. And I think if you agree, it would be better to start a new project. Yes. And I told him, Professor, uh, I, I respect your opinion, but I just have 10 months to finish my masters, otherwise I will be, I will fail. And he told me, you can. Believe in me that you can, but you have to work hard. Yes. You need to think positive. Don't complain about anything. Then I started from zero a new yes. project. In 10 months, I worked hard. I didn't have Saturday. I didn't have Sunday. I didn't have holidays. But in two years, exactly in two years, I finished my, my master course and I was awarded by the, the bird. People who evaluate us because they told me, unbelievable, your masters, because you did all this thing in 10 months and you didn't complain about anything. And I told them, I just want to say that it was a wonderful moment for me because I overcome obstacles. Mm. 
and this is life. Life is to overcome obstacles. And after that, I try. Uh, I start my PhD three years. Uh, it was a nice, very nice time. I learned a lot from different areas. I love it to go to be in class. I love to talk about different things in, in, during my PhD. And after that, my post-doctorate. What I can tell you, my friends, professors, a lot of professors, a lot of students, it has been a very nice journey. Of course, uh, sometimes I feel tired on human being, but it has been wonderful and I want to do this thing to share, to learn until the last day of my life yes. and to yeah. contribute to everyone. True. True. It is a blessing to have the opportunity to study right. because studying opens your mind and your heart. Mm -hmm. you, you understand much better the world you live. Yes. And also I have more than 15 years of experience as a professor, research and coordinator. Yes. And one important thing, I love soccer. <laughs> <laughs> All the time I'm watching, I have time to watch soccer. Corinthians is the best, it's my favorite team in Brazil. If you come to visit Brazil, please say, Vai Corinthians, it's very important. <laughs> what I tell, what, what I'm sharing, friends, professors and students with you all is, no matter if you are doing a master or a PhD, it can be a wonderful time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. don't complain, don't think negative, think positive, you are evaluating, you are learning. You are open opportunities around the world. Yes. You are becoming a better person. Yeah. Then someone tells you, hey, you need to do a thesis. It's like a monster. If you turn thesis for a monster, it's the same sometimes. No, 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 no. <laughs> a thesis is not a monster. Yes. It's just yeah. a paper, a little bit big. Yeah. Right, Prof. Kashif? Yeah. It's yes. a little bit big. Yeah. You're right. But um, you will not save the world with your thesis. Mm. Uh, it's not always that we meet an Einstein, Galileo Galilei, mm. and other genius. <laughs> right. Writing a, a thesis is just to put your ideas based mm. on other mm. studies in, in a logic way. This is a thesis. This is a definition of thesis, but sometimes instead of reading thesis, we read monster. Yeah. First of all, there is no standard. Yeah. Okay, depending on the country, on the university you are studying, you can have different format, different uh, format of a thesis. What yeah. all of them has in common? Structure, Sometimes original, sometimes not original, because when you say you need to find an original thing, oh my goodness, I'm not a genius. How can I do that? Mm. Keep calm, keep calm. Sometimes you add a construct and that is original, that is good. And then you evaluate for that. Not just for your finds, but your development, yes. you know? Yes. The result of your master, your PhD is not the paper, is yours. True. What you learn, you develop, you were committed with the program, with your uh, with your responsibilities, right? Yeah. The expectation for a thesis is very from university to university. Okay, even in Brazil, depending on the university you are doing your PhD, it can vary. Sometimes you can write a very, very long, a very long uh, uh, thesis. Sometimes you have to write a paper. It depends on the university culture. And of course, the, there are different type of thesis. Don't worry about that. Forget all these things. Talk to your supervisor. Read the manual of your university. That's most important. This is the reason, this is why you need to have a supervisor. A supervisor is someone who has uh, overcome 
problems, has experience, and is there to share with you. We talk more, more about this later. Yeah. Of course, after all, a thesis is a process of learning. This is the most important. You are learning to think logically. You are learning to read again, because we think we, have, we know to read, but it's, it's not easy to read what is written and what is not written. <laughs> Mm. Yes. You have to learn to write scientifically. It's yeah. quite different Very just to read. Yes. And you need to <laughs> communicate. Sometimes you have a nice idea, a very original idea, but you write in a poor way. And maybe people you need will not see value in your research. Then this, a thesis is a process of learning. Keep it in mind. Okay, when you see the file or your thesis printed, remember that that is a piece of a big thing that ha you have learned. Yeah. Always remember that. Okay, the thesis is the output. You are the focus of a PhD course or a master course. Okay, it is like go to the gym. You go to the gym to exercise. You go to the PhD or master to exercise your mind. It's not easy to exercise your mind. True. You yeah. you need to you need to organize paragraphs, ideas, concepts. You need to choose the right word to express, and you need to convince the com scientific community that your idea is very important. Yes. So it is hard process, but you need to complain. To despair because of that. It's a process. If you, if you go to a gym, you have to exercise yes. to lose fat, right? If you yeah. go to the gym, yeah. to the academia, you need to exercise your mind to learn, to develop. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And briefly, what I could share with you: what is the process, research topic, a theory? This is the, the, the basic process, identify a topic, choosing a topic, evaluating, and deciding and writing. Here we go. How you can identify a potential research topic? Reading. Of course, this is our mantra. If you are doing a master course or a PhD course, you have to read. Sometimes students come to me and say, professor, um, do you have an idea? And I told them a lot. Oh, you could share some idea with me. I don't believe in my ideas. I believe in your ideas because oh. it's your process of learning. Yes. And they look at me and I, I, I give them some papers to read. Read this paper and then you can talk. Read this paper and then you can talk. Mm. Because if you don't read, you don't have idea. True. Okay? Yes. Don't look for medical recipes yes. to find a research topic. There are a lot of research topics over there, yes. okay? Yes. If you ask me, Professor Leonardo, how can I identify? Read papers, good papers. Here, you can see limitation in future studies. Yes. Okay, this is my paper. This paper was rejected eight times. To find a research yes. topic. This paper was rejected eight times. Can you imagine how I feel? I felt at time. But it was published after working hard, rethinking, reframing in the journal of food product marketing. And here there are limitations. Additionally, the level of respondent involvement with Japanese food was not considered. There is a gap you can. We start this topic. You can make this topic very regional. And first, read, my dears, read. Read good papers in the in good journals. Okay? First, and Check classical the tip. Second tip. Read magazine and newspapers. Remember that you are in university, but you have your life. Please don't close your eyes for the world around you outside the university. Yes. 
You can find good ideas reading magazine, reading newspapers, right. hot topics. Okay, then you can identify something. Oh, what's going about business? What is going about sport? Oh, I can study the brands regarding sports. Very interesting. Oh, I can I can understand what's going on in the real world. Yeah. Because we commonly separate academia from the world. It True. can happen. Yes. We need to be together. We need to produce knowledge that help improve society. Yeah. This is our mission. Yes. We don't make science to ourselves, to our ego. We make science to expand the world, to help improve the quality of people, to help companies improve performance and in your area with magazines and newspapers. Yes. Watching movies. <laughs> it's a great way to relax your mind, and sometimes you have insight to watch movies. Yes. Pay attention yes. at the behavior of the characters, yeah. the dynamic, Very understand good. what brands yes. are I presenting mean, during the move. Professor Leonardo, if you allow me, can I make one comment regarding that watching movies? Sure. Yes, sure. when I had a viva at University of Malaya, Malaysia, my supervisor told me that uh, two days are left, so you must go to the theater and watch movie. I said, Prof, how can you tell me to watch movie <laughs> once I have the viva? So my prof said that it will make you relax. Now it will help you in that. <laughs> go and go outside. You have studied a lot. That is fine. It, recreational activity is that much important. So it just recorded yeah. me that thing. So please continue. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. That's true. <laughs> because we put pressure on ourselves all the yes. time. Yeah. You, know, right. you need what movie is good because you relax your mind. Yes. You know, yes. and sometimes you get inside what movies. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah, very My friends, we have a lot of topics here, <laughs> but we are just focused, complaining, exactly. negative thinking when we don't see that such yes. wonderful journey, journey we are living. Yes. Talk to friends. Yeah. Sometimes not from academia. <laughs> yes. Talk to your old friend about anything. Go yeah. to a walk in the park. Right. Tell them, Joe, you know, have a coffee, call them. Sometimes you are talking to a friend that is not from academia. Yes. And you get insights. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Because we, we need to be careful. When we are studying a PhD, there are some students that think they become superheroes. <laughs> That's yes. not true. Yes. That's not true. Yeah. Okay? As much you study, less you know. This is true. Okay? Then you can talk with people that you meet in the street, in a park. People from other spheres, from other places, not just from academia. Talk to your friends from academia because they will understand what you are living. Yes. But talk to other people as well because they are very helpful. Very. They make you laugh. They make you feel comfortable. And sometimes talking to a friend, you get inside. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, one of my papers that I published in Brazil was about menu in restaurants. Mm. And I went to, before the pandemic, I went to a restaurant with a friend. And he told me, oh, I don't like this menu. It's not clear the prices. Mm. Oops, idea. How to frame prices in menu. Yeah. Then I write yeah. a paper. I went to the literature, write a paper and publish a paper in Brazil. Talk to friends. Sometimes friends from non academia. Yes. Watching YouTube. Oh, thanks, God. Thanks, <laughs> Faison <and> Island. <laughs> Wonderful channel, research beast. Yes. My friends, 
we have many wonderful, wonderful channels yes, very on good. YouTube. Yes. We have, uh, yes, we have Sedan from Turkey. We have Faizan Ali from Sarasota, Pakistani. Wow. We have yes. Professor Mustafa. We have yes. many wonderful professors that are sharing their knowledge about topics Yes. About method, methodology, how to use smart PLS, SPSS yes. in many softwares. Yes, very right. Okay? Yes. Use this resource. Yes. Don't close yourself yes. in your room. Yes. Don't even, worry for a magical thing. Yeah, even <laughs> Professor Leonardo, we have a session on smart PLS just because so that it could help the students to understand the new softwares. Yeah, that is very right. To watch the yeah. YouTube, yes, it will help student a lot. A lot, yes. a lot. YouTube helps a lot. A lot. We have many resources, yes. many resources. Um, I recommend students always uh, to identify a potential topic, read papers published in the last five years, because this is the state of the art. Right. Okay. Right. These are relevant. That's important. Right. And. Also, try to focus on, I call it classical topics. I didn't find a specific English word to that, but there are topics that are very common along the time. Quality, marketing, quality, loyalty, experience. And then according to the field you study, the area you study, try to identify that keywords that are very common in papers that can help you to find a way to develop your, your thesis or your uh, topic, you know? Uh, in tru truly, truly speaking, we, there is no arrested protocol, one, two, three, to develop you to find a research topic. It's creativity, hard working, smart working, talk to friends, watch movie, watch YouTube, talking to your supervisor, talk to friends from other places, from no academia, academia. Yeah. And one interesting way, call for papers. Yes. We Dr. have- uh, Mr. Kashyap has already given a call for a paper. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Yes. If if good journals, if good journals are calling for papers, yes, of course, it is an interesting topic. Right. Then you can focus on that. It's a tip. Why not? You can talk to your supervisor. Oh, I was reading and I found a journal that is calling for papers. What do you think? Then we can talk about. We can study this topic. Yes. Please, when you go to your supervisor, you need to read first. You don't need to ask, you don't have, you don't must to ask him, give him an idea. Yeah. If he or she want to give an idea, he or she will. Yes. But, but first, you are responsible for your development. Your supervisor gives you the direction, you know? Then it is important to, if you are about to talk to your supervisor, present him some topics. Yes. What do you think about this? Have you studied this? Yeah. Uh, do you think I'm the right path? And be open, be open, because sometimes we have different styles. I'm very talkative. There are others, supervisors, that are more closed. Do you understand what I mean by closed? More reserved. Okay? And sometimes there are professors, supervisors that are more straight yes. and the others not. For example, in my case, I like to talk. I ask, how are you doing? Yes. How are your family doing? What was the last move? Have you, have you watched it? Yes. And there are other supervisors that ask you, okay, let me see the topic. <laughs> it doesn't mean he or she is being rude. Yes. 
are styles. Exactly. You need to understand the content. Yeah. But of course, if you go to talk to your supervisor, you never present nothing. Yeah. You get angry. Oh, you are here for studying and you didn't present nothing to me. So remember that you have many sources for this topic. Right. And when you read papers, it is important you understand the theories they are using. Okay, Mr. Topic, a theory. Right. Try to identify the theory that has been used in the paper, in the topic that you have chosen. Yes. Okay, because it gives you clues on how you can develop your own thesis. Yes. Uh, you excuse have me, all uh, the... uh, Professor Neolardo, can we rejoin again? Uh, because the session is uh, going to over. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Uh, viewers, we will be back within the uh, 10 seconds. Okay. Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'm already in the link here. Yes, thank Pleasure. you. Pleasure. No problem. Is that all? Okay. Uh, welcome back. Yes, welcome back, viewers. Uh, as the professor Leonardo is discussing very important points and has been presenting the slides which are very useful and among these slides he is actually explaining his experiences along with the other things that is very important for you people to learn from his experiences what he has um, uh, shared with you and con constantly he is sharing his experiences with you and he is telling you a very important points so that you can write it. So I would recommend you to have the uh, pen and note uh, so that you could note the things which the professor Neurodo is uh, recommending you and sharing the best examples with you. So that would be wonderful. Uh, as you know, I have told you earlier that PhD journey take ad uh, advices of the people who have uh, gone through this journey and successfully and uh, that will actually smoothen the way for you. So uh, back to you, uh, professor. Neurodo, uh, please carry on. You are talking about the okay. theory. Yes. Yes, here we go. And as I was telling you, looking for calling for papers, it's very interesting way to to have a topic and read the papers to identify the theory. Yes. You know, because sometimes you choose a topic, but you choose the wrong theory to explain the phenomena that you want to study. Yes. So if you read Pay attention in each detail that you can find the paper and see what theory they are using. Yes. There is no other uh, recommendation that I can tell you because there are a lot of theories yes. that you can use and develop. So if you are doing uh, a thesis, please pay attention at your topic. Just, just, just a moment. My battery is this just, just a moment. Okay, that's okay. Then you try to identify what are the authors, most important authors that are cited in the paper and the theories that has been used in the paper because it helps you to make up your own things. That's important, okay? Pay attention about what you are reading. This is the reason that I told you before that when you are studying, you are even specifically a page or master, you are relearning how to read, how to write. That is fantastic. This is the process. Yes. So wonderful. Okay. So wonderful. Identify some topics and and please talk to your supervisor. Okay. Uh, masters and PhD is not an isolated path. You need to talk to your supervisor because he is the right person to support you and to, to tell you the truth. Right. Don't feel right. bad if he, right. he, he or she tells you, oh, this topic is not good. That's okay. Maybe she or he has studied that before because we have experience 
you have overcome challenges before you are then our intention is to help you as i told you before if i'm your supervisor and my mother language is portuguese i would be romantic to tell you that your your topic is not useful <laughs> but depending <laughs> on the culture yes culture is very important the professor the supervisor maybe we be strict yes. go out of that okay don't feel bad for that there are a lot of possibilities. And sometimes the first topic you have chosen is not the best one. No problem. You are learning. Okay? I remember the first topic I chose for my master's, my master's dissertation. My professor told me, no, 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 it's not good. You don't have contribution. That's okay. <laughs> then what I did? Yeah. I followed mm -hmm. his orientation. And I, as I like that topic, I write, I wrote a paper. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the paper was published. Yes, the paper was published. That's okay. Yes. And I, I once came back to him and said, look, I put, no, 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 no. Yes. I totally yeah, respect yeah. him. Yes. I'm very pleased to him to tell me don't go this way. No problem. Even yeah. though I have published the paper. Right. I can't do that. I have to respect. And I, some some time later, he told me, "Oh, congratulations! You published that paper. You were right. I was wrong. No, professor, you are always right. Thank you for your time. Yeah, you helped yeah. me to think deeply about that. This is the reason I get that paper published. Yes. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no problem. We are always learning. Identify topics. Talk to your supervisor. Always, always. Okay." Choose few topics that you like it, okay? But also talk to your supervisor. Mm. Masters or PAD is not an isolated, how can I say, course. You work together, is a collective work. Present. Supervisor, what do you think about this? I like this one. Do you like this? Do you think this is uh, value, valuable to academia? Yeah. Be humble. Yes. Listen to your supervisor. Yeah. Yes. As I told you, sometimes you tell, oh, it's not too good. Let's. And others say, no, no, no. Yes. Go Very out. Good. Forget it. That's okay. But choose some topics. Don't ask to your supervisor, give me a topic, supervisor. No, no, no. Okay? It happens a lot in Brazil. And I told my students, please read. Then we talk. Right. You, need to, right. the, you need to dedicate time to your course. It makes part of the process. Okay? Right. Choose few topics that you like and talk to your supervisor. Think his opinion or her opinion. Yes. Even though you have liked a few topics, evaluate the topic. Yes. Oh, I yeah. love this topic. Okay, what are the theoretical and practical contribution of the topic that you really like it? Because sometimes we love some topic, but it does not take contributions. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense to study that. Yes, true. Okay, and then you can see here, evaluate the topic from the theoretical and practical contribution. Yeah. If you have found a topic on YouTube, watch a movie, mm. talk with your colleague when you were playing soccer. Okay, you have a topic. Talk to your supervisor. Evaluate if it is important to study that topic. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's important. What theoretical contribution are you make? Yes. Any practical yeah. contribution? Because if it, the topic, if you love that topic, but it doesn't take any contribution, mm -hmm. no sense. And then I wrote here, and please complete the phrase. Can you guess what I mean by that? No. Evaluate the topic from the theoretical and practical contribution and 
talk to your supervisor. Okay, please complete the phrase talk to, the to your supervisor. Because right. as I told right. you before, you don't work alone. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The supervisor is the person who need to help need to help you. Yes. And then decide for a topic. It's not easy. I know that it's not easy doing my PhD. Yeah. I identified many topics, many topics. <laughs> well, oh, this topic is fantastic. Oh, this is the best one. Oh, oh. And I went to my supervisor and show her. Supervisor, what do you think about these topics? Not interesting. Wow. And I, okay, let's start again. Yeah. Let's start again. Yeah. And what did, oh, that's interesting, but it does have application from theory. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you for sharing, but I don't see value in this. Okay, no problem. She 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 is very, very friendly. She's my friend. Yes. And okay, let's start it again. And then I finally discovered a topic that I liked it a lot. She liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. And I started to write. After four months, as I was writing the literature review, a paper was published addressing the same question that I want to investigate. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, my, uh, I got, no, I got despair. Yes. Because yes. I was thinking that I have found the best topic and someone yeah. in other country was studying the same thing. It's not original anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to my supervisor and told her, supervisor, look this paper. This is my thesis. Someone, uh, someone else has published this before. Oh, my goodness. And she, she told me, yes, we need to start again. <laughs> we need to start again. Yeah. Here happens. we go. Happen a lot, happens yeah. a lot because, because many people are studying many things. And then she helped me to look from different angles. Yes. Then we add other constructs, other variables, that's okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't give up the topic, I just uh, developed. Attention. from other angles the top so decide for a topic what is like lack, lack, what is lacking here decide for a topic focus only on that and talk to your supervisor okay um, here is just a simple thesis structure I, I, I don't I don't I don't care much about that because it's quite a part and it depends yeah. on the on the university you study but usually introduction yes. uh, yes. where you present and you try to to sell your topic True. you present a theory and the literature review theory yes. is consolidate explanations for a phenomenon the literature review are studies that have been published or Presenting different finds yeah. within that yeah. uh, that field, right. the method that be right. qualitative or quantitative result discussion, mm -hmm. theoretical and practical application, the limitation. I, I don't want to waste time with this because yes. it depends on the university and you can find right. it on book. I want to right. share with you things that are not written in the books. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's it. Thank you so much. Now I'm. Yeah. Let's go to the questions. Yes. Thank you very much for such an elaborative answer, uh, Professor Leonardo. It's wonderful to hear your experiences and other things. And quite extensively, you elaborated the uh, question. It was a wonderful answer, and I hope the student uh, would have get the things which you uh, shared. Uh, Mr. Kashif, uh, there are two questions for you, please. The first question, <laughs> yeah, the student is asking, uh, is a PhD student, and he wants to ask the question from you that 
in research what is the role of attitude uh, he says that uh, research uh, shows that 80% is your attitude then your interest and a given topic what is your comment on that please uh, thank you very much dr adar and also thank you dr leonardo you elaborated in a very nice manner it was pleasure listening to you um, regarding this question of attitude uh, i would not give it a percentage that 80% of this and 20% of this probably i would say it, it depends upon situation to situation sometimes we used to say that whenever there is a need we do everything for that right yeah. in urdu yes. we say zarurat ijad ki maa hai so whenever there is a need attitude i have seen people reshaping their attitude i have seen people reshaping their attitude as well sometimes they move from one paradigm to the other and they at times they come back as well Yeah. Why I am saying that? Because some people from very top class Western universities, when they join a university and they say that it's only a sales oriented university, I have I seen them customizing themselves, mm-hmm. and vice versa as well. Mm-hmm. So they are just probably, and this in philosophy we read it like typification, <laughs> that they adjust themselves with the environment. Yeah. So I would say, so I would say this typification is very common among human beings. Right. So whenever there is a need, people will opt for it. But exactly. the point to ponder upon is that if I want to go to the rooftop, mm-hmm. I need either to strengthen my legs right. or I need to have an elevator. <laughs> so either my legs or the elevator will take me from one point to the Enough. other point. So attitude is important. Mm-hmm. Attitude is developed since childhood. Also, you know, lot of social institutions. Yes. I remember my father yes. used to bring books for me to read. and then he himself was reading and we used to discuss this is how when i was a child and this is how i was groomed in the family but since we used to live in a village that was not something which was taken as a dinner for the family but tv was there discussion was there people used to sit around around the streets so my friends even they used to call me come out what are you doing but my father used to bring those books for me to read and then used to discuss with me so this is one example of attitude other right. i would say that your first job should be a tough job yes your first job in yes. the career should be a tough job it develops your attitude Very or right. it can kill someone's attitude yes. if i will go through a hard time probably it will prepare me for the time when i physically would not be able to work for example if i had hard time in my 30s in my 20s in my 40s yeah might help me in my later stages of the career because at that time at the age of 60 65 i might not be able to work True. but maybe i had this enough with me yes. that based on that prior experience and based on the relationship i can move it forward so attitude is quite a glimpsey type of phenomena right. and i would say it depends on so many other things but good thing is that either we strengthen our legs or we install an elevator to go yeah. to the rooftop Yes, wonderfully explained. And as uh, they say that uh, it is the survival of the fittest. Make yourself fit in the environment. When we went to the yeah, yeah Malaysia, we were not known to the culture. The University of Malaya environment mm. was very much different. But actually, it yeah. shaped us. With the passage of time, we learn how to uh, present the things over there, how to work over there, how to talk uh, to the different people, different nationalities. so as you rightly mentioned that you have to strengthen yourself for that if you are committed for that Absolutely. yeah wonderful Absolutely. Uh, yeah the second question uh, one of the student is asking that if we get opinion of others on uh, on a research topic <laughs> it means we are taking their likes and dislikes <laughs> so should we get the senior guidance or not Oh my it's, God! A killer yeah. question. What should I say? <laughs> it's a very interesting Let's question. Yeah, when no. I, yeah, when If I, I say no, it, it's very difficult. All the singers will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> very well. So generally That's speaking, true. what I used to say is that read well yeah. and understand your environment also. Yeah. Understand your environment. Seek others' opinion, but Doctor Sab, I used to say that if a public defends. Yeah. See if I am the one who is the examiner, an external examiner in an MPhil or PhD defense, not in PhD. In fact, in MPhil, yes. since I am not a PhD yet. So if I if I am in a MPhil defense and I ask a question from the student and I say, okay, this theory which you say social identity theory, yeah. instead of this theory, social learning could also be used. 
Yeah. Social learning theory. Okay. And the student says, yes, you are right, sir. Uh, I, I will never bother to ask another question. Why? Yeah. Because the student has, has to defend, has to defend. It is his or her project. If he says that, okay, you are right. And this could have been done yes. under certain circumstances. Yes. This should not be acceptable as an argument. So student has yeah. to justify. Seek opinions. Yes. I would not say don't yes. seek opinions, but seek opinions uh -huh. and also keep something in your pocket as well. Right. If I want to trade right. with you, I should have money with me as well. I should have dollars. I should have gold. Okay. Only then I can trade with you. Yeah. If we both decide as Pakistanis to trade with Dr. Leonardo, yeah. we need to have the yeah. internationally acceptable money in our pocket. Otherwise, we cannot do that trade. Yes. Okay. Right. So right. seek others' opinions. I agree. But have your capital reserves in your account. Yeah. Don't Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much for asking this question to Kashi. <laughs> nice question. <laughs> no, wonderfully answered. Wonderfully. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Professor Leonardo, you, uh, they have a question from you that uh, what if your interest topic is at clash with supervisor? What to do then? I'm happy they asked this question from Dr. Leonardo. Very good. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my goodness. Can, can you reframe this question, please? Yeah, they want to ask the question that if your interest area is a bit different or the topic which you are interested in is a bit different, what the, your supervisor is recommending you to take for your MPhil and PhD. So what you need to do, uh, you need to uh, be consistent and try to pursue your supervisor that uh, I want to stick with this topic or should they say that, should you uh, opt for the supervisor uh, choice topic? Okay, I understand. Um, here in Brazil, I you share the experience in Brazil, then I will give you the answer, okay? okay. Here in Brazil, you can meet different supervised styles, okay? If you apply for a PhD or master, for example, I can go to a professor and he tell me, I study these topics. Yes. Do you want mm -hmm. to be my student? Mm -hmm. You have potential to study this. Okay. Because I have studied this for a long, long time. I think this is important. Then I will provide you a resource to study this. Yes. Okay? This is one line. There are other professors that say, choose a topic, research a topic, and take me the, bring me the topic, then we can discuss. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the process of deciding for a research topic is the beginning of the journey. Because remember that you are learning to make a decision. Yes. Life is dynamic. Doing a doctorate, writing a thesis, is not, is not just a cognitive process. It is a behavior process. Mm -hmm. You need to learn how to uh, handle with the situations. It has a little bit of political, you know what I mean by that? Because maybe your supervisor, you are telling this, because she or he has experience with that, and then she or he can help you, help you can help you yes. uh, to develop your thesis yeah. more softly. Yeah. You know, uh, of course, if you have the option to present a topic that you like, mm -hmm. as I told you before, you need to follow the rules of the game. Yeah, very right. Okay. The, first, the first contact, talk openly with your supervisor. Yes. And learn about your supervisor. Um, when, you, when you are applying for a master or a PhD, I recommend you, students, yes. read some papers from your, of your supervisor. Yeah. Try to understand the topics that he or she is studying. Watch a mm -hmm. journal he or she is publishing. Yes. Because you be prepared. You know? Yeah. If you see that the, the target supervisor 
yeah. is publishing in green marketing for 10 years, don't go to talk about brands with him. Yes. It doesn't yes. make sense. You need to talk about green markets or uh, green brands or something like that, you know? Yes. And be open. Be open. As I told you, I live with that. I was studying uh, business to business. Right. I started to study right. business to business. My supervisor in the master course was dismissed. I got a new supervisor, wonder supervisor, my friend. And he told me, what do you think to study about celebrity endorsement? Hmm. And what was my answer? Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. That's fantastic. Here we go. Of course, yeah. of course. Okay, so um, you need to be prepared for learning in all aspects. And don't feel sad if your supervisor tells you, no, no, this is the topic that we are going to study. That's okay, no problem. When you get your PhD, you study what you want. But you can't be motivated. You need to be strong. Yes, true. I will be sincere. I will be sincere. I was, uh, many students around the world are very weak emotionally. You can't say anything yeah. to them. You can say even the paragraph is not well written. Yes. True. If you bear, oh, my paragraph is not well. What's the problem? <laughs> I'm helping you improve in your writing, yeah. your thinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is, oh my goodness, as I was told, uh, we are talking before, yeah. oh, I'm very happy. You yes. post on Facebook yeah. that you start your PhD, right? <laughs> you tell to your friends, you tell to your parents, oh, I start PhD, I'm very happy. Yes. One year later, oh my God, <laughs> this is a nightmare. I don't, mm. I don't like my supervisor. I have yes. what is going on? Yes. It's a privilege to study a master PhD to learn to expand your understanding of the world. Yes. We need to move, we need to change our mindset. Very right. We need to change, you know, uh, because you know we need to make a strong generation. Yeah. At my time when I started start something, my parents told me, if you have to start something, you have to finish. Yes. Wonderful. I learned this way. Yeah. You like or dislike, you have to finish, but yes. complete all things that you have started. Yeah. And I was still taught this way. So, uh, we need to be strong and need to be mature yeah. and need to talk open. If right. you're a professor, yes. you study that, yeah. okay. Yeah. If you don't accept, look for another supervisor in your university. Yeah. That's yeah. true, my friend. Yeah, that's, that's the true. real world. Yes, very okay. Right. I can I can lie about that. Mm -hmm. But if your professor is telling you, let's study green marketing. Yes. This is yes. The, the, the field and the phenomenon that I have studied for a long year. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. It yes. is my my humble advice. Advice. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Professor Leonardo. My pleasure. That's a wonderful answer. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Kashif, they have a one question, two questions actually, again from you. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, there is a one uh, uh, PhD candidate. She wants to ask the question uh, first is that uh, since the relationship of supervisor and student is very important and that plays an important mm -hmm. role uh, in the journey of PhD particularly, she wants to ask the two questions. First is, uh, can you elaborate what is the relationship of supervisor and student? Supervisor as a guide or trainer, what type of ex expectation should I develop from my supervisor? Please elaborate this one in context of abroad, foreign, as well as local context. And the second question which she wants to ask that she is uh, facing this problem currently and she wants the humble advice from you, both of you, that if your research is uh, interdisciplinary and you have been allocated to leading supervisor, 
they may give you conflicting <laughs> advice or even dislike each other in that case what to do <laughs> <laughs> so please uh, this this question is particularly from you in context of pakistan <laughs> as well that if she change the supervisor that will create trouble mm-hmm. for her and then uh, she may quit the uh, this phd candidateship from that university because uh, she uh, she is afraid of uh, that process that uh, the supervisor may influence it or uh, anything can happen so can you just answer this please mm-hmm. Mm. first i would like to elaborate on the topic related to ex- the question related to expectations yes please uh i would like to say that uh, try not to have expectations just work hard just right. follow the rules and the rules of the game are very simple as professor leonardo explained very simple just observe the society bring topics from there what i usually do dr sir i used to observe what is happening around and then i bring those phenomena into google scholar google scholar should be our closer friend yes. so i need to observe a phenomena bring it to google scholar match the two what has already been said right. and then also speak to someone who is working somewhere who is working in an industry maybe the friend of your supervisor if you don't have very good relationships with the supervisor yes. maybe ask him or her to recommend someone in the industry you will you would like to take your see if i cook something i need to take this cooked food to a cook to get it approved by the cook yeah. right Very so likewise yes. if i have a topic yes. let's say on telecom banking healthcare education mm-hmm. people bring topics to me i used to say okay if your topic is in the frame of education i would be happy to share my thoughts but yes. if it is related to something related to telecommerce something related to banking please have a meet up with the banker Yes. even with an ex banker he or she yeah. can give you some insights so this will help you to you know uh, strengthen the tie between you and your supervisor this is yes. one thing yes. second is that to develop good ties with the supervisor it will it is such a question that you need whole life to understand its answer why i am saying that because people by their personality are very different i will say i will i will share one advice we call lenard yeah. professor lenardo we call this totka totka means a traditional <laughs> advice uh, <recipe>. okay <laughs> yeah so if i will give one totka it might not be useful in one yeah, environment or the other true okay yeah very right so i don't want to give a totka number 1 and totka number 2 and totka yes. number 3 because it is such a question it varies from one person to the other person very right so what my suggestion would be that help your supervisor that's what i would use to say help your supervisor you will be lucky to have a good supervisor yes. this is part of the fate as well yes whatever i am i will get some someone if i have been mentoring someone i will find a mentor i have seen this in life you have seen this in life yes. dr leonardo also have seen this in life what you do comes around yes one of our famous writer used to write ashwak uh, ahmed whatever you give will yeah. come back to you in any form sometimes this form is understand not understandable to us yes. sometimes it comes back in some other form but that could be another test for another manzil another level yes so i would say that help your supervisor yeah. help in a way that maybe try to produce conference papers right. try to write right. some systematic literature review during my phd that's what i did although my supervisor she was already publishing well she never asked for help yeah. okay yeah. but i was very happy to assist zero you know, as a pakistani we have this type of attitude that sometimes we we want to do it yeah. so i said miss yeah. if you have anything which i can help with and she was so generous yeah. she gave me a chance to actually assist her yeah. in matters related to curriculum design in matters related to launch of the research degree programs new research degree programs in matters related to the development of the journal at the university of colombo so i was quite lucky yes. to have the company of her in the in these developmental activities yes. so maybe one way or the other i don't mind even when i was ms student in zavis islamabad i used to mark the quizzes of my supervisor i don't mind doing that yeah. because this is one yeah. or the other way this is a development uh, that on later uh, in the stages of life it helped me a lot yes. so this way yes. try to collaborate with the supervisor and tangibly collaborate should not be a lip sync only that okay i will do that i will do that True. do it practically and then try to you know come up with positivity positive intent at professor lanardo said 
my uh, first year of the phd was not a dreamland professor leonardo you said the first year <laughs> people post i never posted on facebook when i started phd mm-hmm. because it was never a dreamland <coughs> me with a lot of experience i was not expecting that my supervisor could be that brutal to you know share this type of advice and to give me this type of coaching that okay do that don't do that do that don't do that so i was like feeling like an undergraduate trust me in the first year so it was uh, it, it it was not like that i was doing a wrong thing but yeah. what i was thinking is that come on why why i never knew that before yes it was her coaching and it was her interest in the academia that made me feel like that so i feel quite lucky in that although she never asked for help and she never need that but collaborating with her and taking things positively yes all my proposal used to be in the red form it used to be because she said that once once she was there in australia she had her phd from there she used to say that same thing happened to her and no same thing happened to you and then no the same thing will happen and she called it honesty yes yes He used to say that this is the honest opinion that if I will not be groomed in a particular way, okay. how come I can groom others? Once they will be my PhD student or my MS students. Yes. So take these things positively. Yes. This is part and parcel. Yes. If people tell you the student who ask this question from you, yes. if your supervisor tells you, sometimes they might not be reading, so they'll say, "Okay, yes. it's amazing work, fantastic." Yes. Don't believe in that, please. try to request your supervisor to give you feedback that's yeah. not a feedback that's only a motivation yeah. so i clearly see a difference between a motivation and a feedback yes motivation i need okay, yes you are doing kash if you are doing good you are doing, yes. okay i'm doing good but yeah. no give me feedback as well how to improve yeah i Mr. want to kash, do some better work yes yeah. yes you answered the second question which is in which was in the queue <laughs> <laughs> that uh, should we take the feedback and criticisms way or it is a, a positive uh, aspect so you answer already this question that there is a difference between the criticism and the motivation absolutely yeah wonderful absolutely very right very right. absolutely so i used to say that that go by this way yes. and ask your supervisor the true feedback and then have courage yeah have absolutely. courage present present your like the best of you to the supervisor that okay you will take it seriously yes. and don't repeat the mistakes these are the few things that we need to think positively about one more thing i would say other than what i had already said yes, um, yes. say if i call you my friend yeah. okay if i call you my friend then i should take i should like never listen something negative about you right you are my friend then you are my friend that's it i should believe in what my and your relationship is right rather than what a is telling me about you or what x is telling me about right. you if i'm listening to them right. yes then i'm dishonest actually yes. with you because i already have claimed a friend that dr heather is my friend yes. so believe in our relationship and believe in what happens to me like yeah. same theory applies to supervisor True. when i selected i was trying to select my supervisor people told me that okay she is very strict yes she never she has yes. she is short tempered she is like that because she had earned a reputation of quality person uh, yeah. and quality persons don't do the lip sync yeah. that you are doing well she never says doing well doing do no yes. work mean work. work so yes. if i will improve and trust me i was on air the day she said that well done <laughs> <laughs> because listening well done from her yeah. was something that i new consider word. a medal okay <laughs> that was a new word for the word dictionary <laughs> that's wonderful absolutely uh, yeah. absolutely uh, respected guest speaker and the first year was again? difficult but the second year alhamdulillah and third year now yeah. yeah we continue this question <laughs> from you uh, in the, after this uh, login again please yes thank you okay sure Sure, I will know. Yeah. So we are taking the questions, uh, and it was wonderfully answered by Mr. Kashif that uh, uh, how he spent the first year of his PhD, uh, which is supposed to be a very good. are uh, which supposed to be the situation in which you had secured the uh, uh, admission in phd 
that sometimes become very wonderful. But uh, again, how about your second year of your PhD and how about your third year of your PhD? So that is again wonderful and Mr. Kashif is sharing his experience of uh, first year. And I believe that uh, Mr. Kashif, you have uh, rightly pointed out this thing and uh, actually that groomed you, that actually polished you in your first year of your PhD, that how can you uh, polish yourself in that way? How can you look for the different things? And this is we call the grilling process through which we learn a lot. We have gone through such a hectic routine and that actually polished us. So please share your second year and then uh, your journey, please. Uh, just uh, one more thing. Uh, I believe for me it was very difficult, Dr. Adar, because I had 45 papers already in my pocket when I started oh, PhD. Wonderful. I had 45 papers published. Okay. Wow. So for me to absorb that grilling yes, initially it was, was very tough. Yeah, because okay. you are already an established researcher. Yes. 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 But I would say that hats off to my supervisor, the way she tackled it. She yes. was never rude, but she was brilliant in the feedback. And I maybe I took it like a brilliant. Yes. If someone else could have been there, could have been thinking something else. Yes. Could have been thinking to quit. Right. Could have been thinking to say change the supervisor. Yes. But that's not the way. If you think that education is your part and parcel of life. Yes. Then please prepare well. If I think that I need to drive, yes. then why not to learn driving from a supervisor? <laughs> Writing a paper is a good thing. Yes. But I guess once we work under the supervision of someone, yeah. it really adds value to whatever we do in our life. So yes. I was trying to assist her. And one very good trait that I would say in her is that she never asked me to publish a paper with her name, where she never contributed. Wonderful. Wonderful. I have only one paper with her in two years, and that's the systematic literature view. That's my initial paper when I started my PhD. That's my one paper only with her. Yes. Otherwise, she strictly say that, please, yes. please forgive me. Please yes. don't put my name there. Yeah. I will collaborate with you. But I have seen horrible stories, yes. honestly. Very right. Very right. Horrible stories. Yes. Even in, I don't want to name countries, and I don't want to name universities. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Horrible yeah, stories. Heard. Supervisors, yeah. they so that's why I said that it's quite a topic that yes. requires a life to understand. Wonderful. And I don't know how I will be even after 10 years. I don't know. Yes, I'm this type of uh, guy. I think that I pray from Allah Almighty yeah. that I don't want to be in the company of those who exploit people, yes. but I cannot dictate my future. It's not in my hand. Yes. It's not in my hand. Right. It is, there is some external force that were, what I believe. Yes. So I, what I can do is only pray, think positive, remain honest. Yes. And as I said that if some, if I have told you that you are my friend, yes. then what it has to do left and right, yes. I should not believe in that. Yeah, exactly. I should I be honest in that. Yeah, you put it in a very wonderful phrase that help your supervisor. I learned this new thing from you. It's a wonderful phrase you. that help your supervisor. It means uh, uh, try to seek his guidance and then help him in that thing. Because uh, I could remember my supervisor told me that this is your baby. Mm -hmm. You have to take care of it. So the same way. Yes. Yeah, that's very wonderful. And uh, it's a learning journey. We have to learn all the time. Wonderful experience. I would friend. say. Yes. Thank you. Just one more last thing, if you allow. Sure. Please, uh, please. We have... Molana Rumi, Rumi. Yes. Molana means uh, Professor Leonardo, the friend of God. Molana. Yeah. Mola means a God. Yeah. Ana means the friend. So yeah. the friend of God. Molana Rumi is quite a wise man yeah. he was. Spiritual. He used to say, yeah, yeah, spiritual. He used to say, one of his quotes is, what you seek is seeking you. Wonderful. What yeah. you seek is yeah. seeking you. Seeking. So if I seek help of the supervisor, Yes. He or she might be seeking my help in return as well. What you <laughs> seek is seeking you, right? Yeah. So what I believe in that, that positively trying to contribute to others' life because you want her or him to contribute to your life. Yeah. So attract positivity from the positivity Positive. rather than negativity. Yes. That's Wonderful. Uh, you have explained with the right. another quotation, which is again uh, a learning message from all of our audience. And we could see that a lot of warm messages we are receiving. It's a wonderful <laughs> session and it's a wonderful uh, and it's really pleasant to listen you both. 
and it's a wonderful session. Uh, Professor Leonardo, they are asking one question from you. Uh, since you have explained the slides as well, and you have talked about uh, your uh, difficult journey you have uh, walked through, they are asking the question uh, that, uh, what is the role of stress management? How did you manage the stress during all your hardships, your master, when the, your supervisor told you to change this topic and you started it again and then your PhD, all these things. So they say, mm -hmm. what is the role of stress management in that? And how can we improve okay. that uh, stress management uh, process? Okay, uh, before answering, if allowed me, I'd like to add a little yes. thing to my, my sure. friends sure. have said. Sure. Uh, don't look for a perfect supervisor. Wonderful. Wonderful. There isn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There isn't. Yeah. Uh, very important. Um, we put much responsibility on supervisor. Yes. When I, when I when I say that a supervisor that tells you, oh, okay, uh, uh, if you want to study with me, this is my interest. Yes. Or you choose your topic and we work together. Yes. But the, the responsibility is yours. Yes. Is yours. It is important. And when Dr. Kash said uh, you need to, to help to cooperate with your supervisor, yes, that's totally true because this is the learning of prof, pro, uh, the process of learning. When we are supervising Yes. We are learning yes. in the same time, okay? And about managing the stress. Yeah. First thing, first important thing, okay? Gratitude, gratitude to be studied. First thing, yes. thanks heaven for the opportunity to study. Thanks heaven for the opportunity to do a master, to do a PhD. Thanks heaven for, for being a health person for having a family, for having food, mm -hmm. for having a house. First thing, you need to thank God for all things that you have in life. It's a privilege yes. to start a master or a PhD. Yeah. If you look outside, you see that there are many people that don't have the same opportunity as many of you have. Feel yeah. blessed for that, first right. thing. Yes. Second thing, Second thing, the uh, thing that I I did at my first when I was studying, and I, I still do because being a supervisor, being a professor, sometimes you feel stressed. We are human beings. Right. It's true. Sometimes you get nervous, anxious. anxious. Uh, it makes part. Yes. What comedy movies? <laughs> what comedy movies? Talk to your friend about other things, not about just your paper, your uh, your thesis. Yes. Because it is it is interesting when you are doing a master course or a PhD course. Yes. <laughs> it look like it, it look like a ghost. I explain that. Yes. If you if you go to visit a friend. You don't pay attention at your friend. You are thinking in your thesis. Yes. You are just there, but your mind is in your thesis. Yeah. If you go to a party, people are celebrating, dancing, eating food, and yes. you are thinking in, in your thesis in your paper. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> yes. Right. It's, that's true. That's yes. true, Cassif. Yeah. Right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, if you go dancing with your wife or your <laughs> girlfriend. Yes. You are not dancing with her or with him. You are dancing with your thesis. <laughs> you turn on the TV. Yes. You are not watching a movie. You are seeing, you know? Right. What I recommend you make laugh of that. Yes. It's easy. Right. Okay, it's soft. Right. You are just learning. Exactly. Okay, your exactly. PhD, your yes. master is not is not yes. your life. It's true. A true. part part of your life. 
Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Very it's right. Not yes. Yes. Your life. It's yes. a part of yes. your life. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Because wonderful. yes, because remember when yes. you get your degree, yes. you not became a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, you not you you not save the world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You will be a better person, of course, because yeah. you have been trained to yes. think. Okay. Yes. And men distress. I can tell you, go to meditate, but yeah. if you close your yeah. eyes and you meditate. The thesis is there talking to you. <laughs> As a nightmare. I know how. Yeah. Yes, I hope. I know yes. how it is hard. Yeah, very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Even I used yeah, to that, but... used to see the thesis in my dreams. That were uh, <laughs> do, did I align my research objectives and research question with yeah. methodology, etc. Yeah. That was yeah. the nightmares. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, uh, that, that's interesting, but. Uh, the best thing, uh, of course, according to your faith, your religion, yes. uh, your culture, yeah. uh, I share yeah. what I what I did with my time, yeah. of course. Right. Right. I thank God to the opportunity to study in my country. Few people have PhD or master. It's yeah. a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's yes. a blessing right. to study. Uh, look around and see that you have many people that love you. <laughs> true. true, very true. Yes, the peer support, uh, the family support. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I remember that when I come back home, yeah. sometimes uh, a little bit sad or tired. Yes. My dogs, my dogs were always there waiting for me, and when I was playing with them, I Totally oh, for, God, forget God. about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, forgot. But <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I, I think you can you can do something that make that makes you feel pleasure. Yes. Go dancing. Yeah. Exactly. Go jogging. Yeah. Traditional uh, activities. Swimming. Yes, yes. Because you know um, you need to exercise because. You you are you, in your body. You have too much energy. Yeah. And yeah. You need to turn this bad energy in positive. Yes. You know, yeah. don't eat a lot of food, cough all the time, and and no, yes. drink water, go walking, go visit a friend yeah. that yeah. is not from academia because yeah. they will ask you yeah. how is going your PhD. <laughs> Okay, talk to other people. Yes, yes. Um, yes. And, and, and watch comedy movies, it's true. Uh, yeah. Talk, make jokes. Yes. Call to your friends yes. and talk to different things. Yes. Talk about Do activities uh, to refresh uh, your mind. Yeah, that would help. Refresh a lot. Yeah. Yes, because it helps. Yeah. And remember, remember, take notes, you that are watching us. Yes. Master and PD. Is not your life, is yeah. a part. part of life. A, what a, a wonderful message! Yeah, it's a wonderful okay. message to them. Yeah, it's just a part of the life, it's a one aspect. You need to consider the whole pie or the uh, whole circle. Uh, Mr. Kashif, yes. you have a one, uh, we have a one question for you. Uh, our PhD student, uh, her name is uh, Sarish Khan, she wants to ask one question. Uh, that uh, uh, most of the times external stuck on his or uh, her point that why you did uh, choose this theory and etc. and don't bother to agree with the student mm. with any type of justification then how to agree with the examiners or what is your uh, what, what should be the your response to that she is I think the third year student of our PhD in Bahari University <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, you see, whenever we talk about a framework, yes. it is already, it is like, a, I would say a framework or a model is just a mathematical explanation of a theory. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we should have some understanding of the theory. Yeah. 
so that we can justify the framework. This is point one. Right. Secondly, now the examiners are not agreeing. It could be my fault as well yes. because they might be true. Okay. This is another perspective. Right. And what are the conditions that they are true? Are they like hiding something very serious? Okay. Or they are trying to be political for some reasons. Maybe they have some relationship with your supervisor, with your dean or someone else, right? right. So this could be something very serious going on. Yeah. They might not be sharing yeah. in this way, but right. because we are an implicit society, yeah. we are not very explicit. Yes. We don't say you are wrong. Yes. We don't say like yes. that. But yeah. guess what we say? Maybe you can change this. Maybe you can do this. Maybe you can add it. Maybe you can think it, okay? Yeah. We are this type of society. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we are implicit type of cultures F, as per Hofstra's definition. Yeah. I don't know much about Brazilians, uh, Leonardo, <laughs> Dr. Leonardo, uh, but our perspective is we are quite implicit. We use body signs, body language. So reading us is very difficult. Yeah. Our smile is not smile. This could be something <laughs> else. Okay, that doesn't, we don't fall into diplomacy all the time, yeah. but this is the type of society. This is what we have learned over the period of time. Right. And we give credit to relationships you give credit to people yeah. rather than the work itself work is not a huge stress or tension for us yes. but people are more important yeah. that's what has been indoctrined in our culture yeah. so dr heather maybe the perspective is uh, examiner might be true yes. and he or she yes. might be trying to highlight that please revisit yeah. please rethink yeah. right. secondly how to counter argue is an important phenomenon as i said that social identity theory and the yeah. social exchange theory Right. Very closely related. Both yes. can be clubbed under, under sociology theories, under yes. psychology theories. Right. So how to justify? Yes. Well, I would say that please bring your arguments to table. Right. Argument one, two, three, four, five. That's what you can do because you don't have an authority. You cannot influence. Right. And your supervisor will be dead silent. That's yes. the norm. Yeah. Before right. proposal <laughs> defense, my supervisor said that Kashyap, yeah. I would be like a dead wood in the examination hall. Why? Because I would like to listen how you justify what I have taught you. Yes, exactly. So it was a double pressure. In a sense, it was a double pressure. Very At one side, I have to save my face. Yes. On the other side, I have to save the prestige of my supervisor as well. Very right. But very alhamdulillah, right. by grace of Allah, it went very well. Yeah. But probability... Yes. probability of this type of defense is rather less yes. uh, because a lot of sleepless night yeah uh, Kashif, sorry, i would I'm like sorry. to add but, one thing in but, that that my supervisor me, told me, me during my proposal defense that uh, if you got failed it would be slap on my face not your face absolutely yeah absolutely yes professor let, leonardo you want to say something let me yes let me yes. make a, <laughs> a comment that is interesting yes uh, sure, how please. long how long is a PhD in Paxton, PhD or master? How long? Two uh, years, three minimum, years? Minimum three years. Minimum three minimum. years, but you can finish in four, five, seven years, nine years, ten years. Okay. And never. <laughs> you have. Okay. A little yeah. bit. You have. Let, let's matter. You have four years right. to learn to play the game. Yes. Mm. Okay? Yeah. You have four years to learn to play the game. Yes. You learn to behave. You learn to contra-argument. Right. You learn how to handle with your supervisor. Yes. And you learn how to, you have to learn how to ask and as answer questions. Right. When you go to the fence. Yes. It's up to you because it's your time to show yeah, the world. Yes. yes, because you have four years to learn to play the yeah. game. Yes. Now is the game. Exactly. Uh, yes, you have to play the match by yourself. That's it. Yeah, wonderful. That's it. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. it. Yeah. Uh, just a few sorry, more thoughts. If you, if you yeah. please uh, allow me just to add, bit, sure, just to please. finish my... Uh, my answer on that, not an answer, just a thought. Sorry, yes. not an answer, just a thought. Um, also, uh, please bring all those arguments nicely to the table, one thing. Yes. Others, I would say that we can beautifully express by words, by right. speaking something, but right. sometimes our writing is not replica of what we are trying to say. 
Very so good. the examiner never met us before. Right. Maybe he or she read what we have written. Exactly. And now in the public defense, we are trying to communicate by our worldly expressions, by our speaking. Right. So I have observed, I don't know if you both of you agree to this or not, but we can explain things with the use of voice very nicely. But when it comes to writing, the argument is quite weak. If we read our own written work after 10 days, a month after, or a two months, or a three months, or a four months after it was drafted, we might find some anomalies there and we might want to improve it. Yes. So whatever is being written there and whatever has been said, yes. there could be a difference in between that as well. Yeah. So consider this. Yeah. One Wonderful. last thing. You is, have raised a very important uh, point for the students. It's an art of writing, actually, which you are referring. That is yes. a wonderful point for them. That it's not necessarily yes. what you are trying to think. You are able to uh, write it down in the same way. There could be a gap. Because, wonderful. Yes. yes. Because, because thank you. Thank you. Because sometimes when students come to me, they explain very good ideas. Yes. But when I see their writing, <laughs> it's very different. It's yeah, very different. Actually, shows something okay? different story. Yes. Something else. Yeah. Something else. But it has been attributed to a lot of things: lack of reading, lack of writing practice, and so yes. on and so on. One last yeah. thing is that if examiners are of this attitude, yeah. see, when I am searching for a university, I'm also a researcher as well because I'm hunting. I'm making a decision. Okay, that's a decision of my life. It's not the four years only. Yes. My last degree will go to grave. My <laughs> one of the professor used to say, it will go to grave with me as well, yes. right? Very so it's a reputation. Yes. See, you yeah. went for a top class yeah. university in Malaysia. You could have gone somewhere else also, yeah. but you explored. Yes. You studied that, okay, this is top university. I need to go there. And this is one, two, three, four reasons to go there. Yes, I went to one of the best in the Southeast Asian universities as well. Why? Because I searched for universities. Wow. I could have gone somewhere else as well. But you are a researcher. You will claim after three or four years, you are a doctor in a particular field. Yes. So how come you can make a poor choice of selecting a university, which doesn't make sense? Yeah. So if you have selected a university, yes. which later on you will explore that is not making any sense to you, the examiner or the teachers, Yes. Why you opted for their PhD program? It's the totally thing. your fault. Yes. Yes. You should have selected some better university. Why you did not go there? Yes. These are a bit of my explanation. Yeah, wonderful. You have uh, included three most important points in it. Uh, it's a wonderfully addressed Thank question. You. Yeah, so nicely. Uh, Professor Thank Leonardo, they have a question from you that most of the time uh, our teacher, they used to say that uh, go for literature review, go for literature review. And uh, most of the time, I used to say in my class, uh, in master's or PhD, that uh, research starts with the literature review and ends with the literature review. It means keep reading, keep <laughs> reading. So their question is, uh, uh, topic starts with literature review. So how much literature review is enough at the stage of topic selection? It means they are asking that any specific criteria or benchmark or any brief idea how much I dig the information for my proposal defense or for my topic selection? How much literature review is enough? Okay, thank you for the question. That's interesting because I have yes. asked you that myself this for a long time. Okay. Even when even when you are about to write a paper, how much literature to consider my papers? Yes. Same. Um, what I have learned and used uh, when when going through the literature is consider some keywords and the last five years. Yes. For paper published in the last five years. Yes. Because when you read the most recent publications, mm -hmm. you see the what 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 are the burning issues in that area. You you get to identify. You, you don't need to, you, you, you can't start by reading uh, the seminar, the classical paper. Start by uh, the published, recent published, and then you see the authors, what papers has been cited. Uh, yes. Then you will feel, because you feel that you are the limit. You, okay, now I have a big picture. There is no rule. 
or read four papers. Read, of course, you will not read two papers and go to your supervisor. <laughs> but yes. read 10 papers, 20 papers. For example, during this month, yeah. I'm on vacation <laughs> from university. But I read, in my case, I read at least three papers each day. Even yes. during, even on holiday. And I recommend you, you all, okay? Uh, first, when you start your course, start reading. Yes. Okay? Learn the best journals of your area. Who are the, the most important researchers in your area? Right. Don't wait to start to read when you are about to write your thesis. It's a problem. It happens a lot. Mm -hmm. Because okay. you ask you ask to students sometimes to make presentation and you'll see that they are just lost because they didn't read the paper. You yeah. notice that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you have to read at least three to four papers since you have started your course. Yeah. This is what I recommend you. And when you arrive at the moment to write your thesis, yes. you already have many papers that you have read. That's fantastic. Yes. But I recommend as a bench, I, I can say if it is a benchmark, but you can read papers published the five, uh, five uh, last years. Yes. I think the papers published in a field, in a top tier journal, Germans. will give you a big picture about the phenomena that you are addressing. Yeah, wonderful. But wonderful. keep reading, keep yes. reading. Keep reading. Food for thought, yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Professor Leonardo. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Mr. Kashif, uh, they have uh, two questions from you. Uh, first is the, what is the role of uh, theory in uh, management research? And uh, particularly the second question, which is more uh, in kind of uh, local context, they want to ask that uh, if you have a mediating variable and moderating variable, so is, is it necessary to have a theory for moderating variable and mediating variable as well? Or one or two theories could explain the relationship? Uh, what do you recommend? Uh, three to four theories for PhD candidate? or they can stick to one theory, uh, uh, please mm. guide in that perspective. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and one thing more. First thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, as, please. As, yeah, as you know that the more you have the theory, the general perception is the, the more is your model is complicated, the more your work is good. So in that context, actually, they are asking that yes. if we have the complex research model, so it means that my work is quite worthy and the theories should be there, three, four theories. So then uh, please explain this uh, phenomena to them. Thank you. I wonder who will, I wonder who will read the complex and boring models. I wonder. <laughs> this is, uh, this era belongs not to reading actually. Yes. This is more of an observation type of era, experimental type of era. People are trying to learn new things. So a lot of methods have already been outdated. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, can you repeat uh, one by one the question so that I can address one by one very briskly, very shortly? Yeah. Your first question? Is, uh, what is the role of theory in management research? Yeah. Okay, just uh, if I say that due to aggressive behaviors yes. of supervisors, yeah. employees leave the company, let's suppose. Okay. Due to aggressive behavior, yeah. so I say abusive supervision, and then I say employee turnover. Okay. Due to aggressive behaviors, employees leave the company. Right. Now, how do I know that? And why not turnover leading to abusive behavior? Yes. And abusive behavior leading to turnover. Yeah. Why, why arrow is that? moving from, yes. yes. Why it is the direction of an arrow from yes. abusive supervision towards this turnover. Right. Now, in order to explain it, I need a theory. Right. Now, this is a separate question. What is a theory and what theory is not? That is very basic. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yes. And what theory is not. So yes. I would say in order to explain, in order to give justification that why arrow is moving from one point to the other and not from the other vice point versa. to the back point. Yes. So, so vice versa. Yes, thank you. So theory gives you explanation yes. and different theories give you different explanations. Yes. For example, 
let's say the same phenomena if employees face aggressive supervision right. there are few employees who don't leave yeah. so maybe i can put an mediating variable poor performance of an employee yeah. okay yeah, so yeah. i would say that abusive supervision leading to poor performers and they perceive that they are poor performers they might not leave because they think that wherever they will go they will feel the different they will feel the same type of behaviors and they will experience different type of phenomena yeah. so theory gives you explanation either you are extending that explanation via mediating variable or via moderating variable you have to justify why these arrows are moving from one direction to the other direction and why not vice versa right. so in order to give explanation you need theory in the field of business and management i would say business and management is not a field it is a sub field it is a borrowed field that's oh, what okay. i understand okay it is not a field itself it is just a functional area if you say marketing i don't agree that marketing is a theory marketing is a functional area under the theory of the firm marketing is just one functional area hr is another functional area finance is another functional area operations is another functional area and i would like to see the theory of marketing other than marketing myopia customer based brand equity and just yeah. few more to name yeah. yes. those are even adopted yes. from i was reading about brand love dr heather yes about brand yes. love okay and what i could see that the brand love phenomena is based on the theory of love hate relationship for the family studies oh wonderful okay so nothing is there maybe something is there may i could have like a very closer view of the field but i would say yes. the business and management is a borrowed field yes. some literature is coming from some santezu art of war from the war <laughs> some from the psychology some yes. from sociology yes. some from zoology even yes. some from cannibalism if you see as a practice people eating the other people the dead people cannibalism yes. if you see a lot of material is coming from this brand cannibalization is not business and management concept it is adopted a social practice being yeah. adopted as a theory into business and management yeah. so this is how we need to look into the theories this is adopted knowledge right. and adopted knowledge has doesn't have any norms whatever you adopt should have its norm psychology should be theory should be treated as a psychology theory yeah. sociology theory should be treated as a sociology theory so either it's a mediator or a moderator it should give you explanation and also if it's a moderator i would say that it should be into the bracket of the framework either it's a mediator it should be within the bracket of the framework yeah. the theory should provide explanation as how come a variable is not a mediator and a moderator yes and vice versa yes. a variable is a moderator and not a mediator yes. so theory will help you to explain all these phenomena last question that uh, theory how many theories should be there yes please we please. we have a family system dr heather <laughs> yeah. we have friends we have cousins okay yes. we i yes. when i teach this concept i say that okay there is a product family yes. for example sun silk is a shampoo head and shoulder is also a shampoo so both shampoos can be merged as a shampoo yeah. likewise theories have family as well yes theory has families as well one theory and the other theory from the same family can be clubbed together to explain a phenomena yes but yes. if i bring if i say let's say there is a patient and needs an b negative blood yeah but i would like to install a negative yes it's a failure recipe it's a failure recipe so i need to clearly see that the theory which i am bringing to explain the same phenomena and the theory which i am already using are both theories from the same tribe and from the same subject class yes. if yes then you may be use one or better to say two theories yes. not more than that please it will make it a messy statement because the theories have a different background yes. one theory coming from cannibalism as a social practice yes. other theory coming from family study and i would say that cannibalism and family these are very different phenomena yes. so the more theories you will add the complex it will be and difficult it will be justify the lesser theories you have to explain a framework i would say it's a safe end yes
and you have actually mentioned the vice versa what what they recommended that it would be beautify my thesis and it will make my research model very complicated and it would look great actually you have stated in other way around that no it will actually yes. not be a good idea to do that why not to make it easier very nicely said uh, thank you for your that great answer uh, there is a one question from a master student uh, and uh, uh, he is asking from both of the guest speakers that uh, uh, at master level what do you recommend to me that should i select a topic based on a contextual gap or content gap what should be better for example what uh, he wants to ask is one study has been done in the usa the context was different so i want to replicate mm -hmm. the same work in pakistan so do you recommend me to take on the uh, uh, the context gap or the content gap the content uh, he's uh, referring towards changing the questionnaire uh, and the operationalization of variable because he thinks that his level is quite low and he should not be indulging in that uh, content gap uh, rather the context gap will be good enough for him so what's your take on that uh, mr kashif uh, please give your uh, answer first and then i take the professor leonardo uh, answer on that i would say that um, context is a qualitative statement when i say context okay <clears throat> context is quite dr heather context is quite wrongly understood yeah when i say context if i say that abusive supervision which was operationalized in america okay in a different culture is replicated in pakistan people say that this is a contextual study i would disagree because the measurement which i used was the same that was conceptualized in usa yes i am only trying to collect sample from pakistan yeah. but yes if i beg abusive supervision in pakistan yeah. that's what i make a contextual contribution yeah so if if like if you challenge this concept even let's take this way that abusive supervision they say there are three four statements and it's a negative phenomena all across the board so far dominantly yes. but we see a lot of positive into it as well in our culture mentor mentee relationship we call it a peer and murid yes. relationship shaadi <laughs> peer and murid okay yeah yeah so they say exactly. that uh, there is a mentor and then there is a mentee yes. and mentee is quite obedient and menti is quite concerned at times when mentor is not abusing yes not abusing the vulgar language not actually abusing but maybe threatening with a tone of voice maybe uh -huh. all those definitions which are put forth negatively yes. you will see in a peer murid relationship very very opposite to that, that. okay the murid sometimes the menti i i myself is a mentee sometimes i am worried that what happened to the one who is a mentor yeah why he or she is not being thrilled with us yes why he or she is not like a very aggressive to us what happened why not giving us advices yes why not suggesting us to do something yes. so maybe my answer is that if you are interested in context do qualitative studies okay. lot of western thinking you can reverse right with the help of qualitative research Right. but otherwise if you want to do quantitative study please think of the theoretical contributions rather than because that is not context uh -huh. if something has happened in usa and i replicated in pakistan uh -huh. i'm sorry this is not a contextual contribution this uh -huh. is only the sample i am taking up yeah yeah wonderfully answer uh, we have uh, uh, less time for this uh, session please uh, log in again and then i take the answer from the professor leonardo uh -huh. that what is his take on that one interesting question yeah thank you yeah so we are taking the opinion of the our respected guest speakers uh it's very important question sometimes uh, we need to understand what is the content gap and what is the contextual gap and if you don't know please uh, read the research methodology books so that you can get the clear idea whether what is content gap and what is contextual gap and uh, we are hearing from the our respected guest speaker that uh, what to do at a master level at a phd level it is fine and you have to do so many things which is very important but at master level as the student is asking this question so we take the answer from our respected professor leonardo that uh, uh, what should be one doing at master level yes please 
Okay. Uh, just for a second, uh, Professor yes, Leonardo, please. just one uh, more thing. It please keep away from my mind. I don't see, Dr. Heather, any difference between research conducted at the master's level and yeah. the research conducted at the PhD level. I okay. don't want people to discriminate on that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that is some, due to some administrative things, maybe you can say an, a master's thesis is worth 20,000, 25,000 words yes. and a PhD is 80,000 words. But yes. if it is a matter of words, that yeah. is not difference of the scope of the research, okay, exactly. and the contribution as well. Yeah. Because the theories are not written in this way. Yes. You cannot say this is a theory for PhD, this is a theory for <laughs> MS and MPhil. Yeah, and so, the process is same for both. Same, yes. yes. So don't uh, don't please uh, segment on this basis. Yeah. Yes. Research is research yes. to be taken yes. up seriously. Yeah. And there is no shortcut and tricks and something like that. Yes. So please don't do that. Yeah, and there uh, is no elevator to, to success. They say you have to follow the whole process from A to Z. Yes. And so, most of the time, there is a misconception in our uh, local context that master level work should be a very less, or they should not go for discovery, or they should not go for a novelty. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a misconception. No. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Very so that's, that's my point out. that uh, very don't right. just uh, discriminate and break yeah. the process of theory building. And oh, who knows? One of my students did. Uh, uh, scale development in an MPhil. Oh, wonderful. Why? Not a magic of mine, but a magic of himself. Exactly. He himself was interested to do it. Yes. So because he wanted to do it, he was yeah. able to do it within a yes. year. Yeah. And, so and you mentioned that you, you had 45 papers before uh, going to, for a PhD. So you, PhD, also, yes. yeah, you also work on a novelty. That's why World recognized your work and you publish it. So this is how you, one can contribute. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. wonderful. Thank you. Yes, uh, Professor Leonardo, uh, what's your take on that? Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Professor Leonardo also. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, I love it, what uh, Sir Kassif said. Yes. Research is research, that's yeah. it. Wonderful. Uh, no matter <laughs> if it's final work, if it's a dissertation <laughs> as we call in Brazil or a thesis. Yes. As I, as we I, I told before, we don't read thesis. We we read monster. And I ask you that you are <laughs> doing your PhD. Yes. Instead of, yes. of saying that you are doing your thesis, saying I'm doing my cake, yes. because <laughs> you give a lot of sense to that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's true. Uh, that's true. Give another name to your your project. Don't call that thesis because it's like it puts too much head on that. Yes. Mm. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. I almost dying. I have yeah. to. Man. Yeah, keep on making it complicated. Yes, yes. Don't put weight on that. You are yes. making a cake, a delicious cake to share with the society. Okay? Yes. It, it, your thesis. Yeah. Um, about the question, uh, I totally agree yes. with Kashif. Totally agree. Um, I uh, specifically, in my, in my opinion, I don't see too much value value when I study is just repl replicated in social sciences. Okay, in medicine, biology, and other fields, hard science it's yes. very important, like uh, the vaccine. But in social science, I, I don't see too much value, okay? Uh, when, what I recommend is, uh, as, as, as Rashid has said, research is research, yes. okay? No matter if you are collecting data in America, in Brazil, Pakistan, or any other country, you need to have in mind how my research adds value to theory and practical actions. That's the most important. Because you can conduct your research in Himalayas. Okay. <laughs> yes. and, and so what? Yes. Very right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yes. But that adds value to the theory, to the knowledge, and to some action. Yeah. Mm. Yes, that's great. Go ahead. Yes. And I just say that I, this is what I, I recommend. 
ask yourself, talk to your supervisor if this context adds some value. Just replicate per se doesn't make sense and you will not publish your paper. And even though you can follow the protocol to develop your research in a master level, because we want to see that you have learned how to write, how to organize your ideas, how to explain, how to manage your time, how to justify your choices. The most important at the end is, and so what? What are the contributions of your study? Okay, mm -hmm. he's in Eratol before Himalayas, Malaysia, no matter. Ask yourself, my research is add value to theory and practice? Yes, go ahead, not uh, look for another option. <laughs> yes, wonderful. That's yeah, my wonderful. point of view. Yeah. Thank you very much for such a wonderful answer. Uh, I'm actually enjoying this session a lot. What I experience you people are sharing, what a valuable suggestion you are giving. And I could see Thank a warm uh, response from the students and from the international audience as well. And uh, actually they are asking for your email address as well that if you allow me, uh, can I share your email addresses with them because they are asking yeah. for your email address. Yeah. Thank yes. you very much for your yeah, okay. yeah, it's a really wonderful uh, session and I don't want to end it. And it's a really uh, interesting one and exciting one. Uh, one last thing I would ask uh, from uh, both of the respected uh, guest speaker. What is your message to the world in order to create impact? So, Professor Neurodo, uh, please, what you want to give message to the researchers and students, any message? Uh, you want to convey through our platform? Uh, uh, I think it is the hardest question of our talking. <laughs> uh, we are we are living uh, a different moment. Yes. A hard moment. Yes. Many people have passed away given COVID nineteen, mm. uh, but. I think we we must believe that God will protect us. Uh, yeah. um, we need to pray to God, illuminate the scientists to to find a seed as possible, a good vaccine Vaccines, to COVID. Yes. 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 Yeah. And I ask you to be happy, to think positive, to be kind with people, yeah. respect nationality, culture, religion, yes. because yeah. the most precious thing that we have in this life is each other. The most precious thing that we have in this life is each other. Yeah. Uh, this is my message. Love each other, yeah. respect each yeah. other, and remember... Uh, you 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 can do anything you want, yeah. and uh, I believe that if you dedicate, are dedicated, and if you respect, and if you think positive, and if, if you are sincere, yes. you you reach any any goal that you have in life. Yes. But always remember the most valuable thing that we have is each other. Yeah. Very right. Wonderful message to the student and professionals, to the research community at large. And uh, your message, which I could, I could conclude, is uh, to spread love and take care of your friends and family members and bring positive yes. energy to the world. Spread the positivity, stay positive so that we can contribute to the world in a better way and make it better place yes. for the rest of the people it's a wonderful uh, yeah wonderful uh, message to the whole world yes mr uh, sarkashif what is your message to the world uh, first of all again thank you for this opportunity i you were referring to the comments the warm comments yeah, okay. i'm also receiving the same i'm sure professor leonardo is also receiving the similar yeah. comments pleasure pleasure uh, this listening, is, listening to you this is uh, actually due to you dr heather yeah, thank so you thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah.
um, although Monday used to be the very busy day, I used yes. to have a lot of classes. I but, highly uh, appreciate your efforts and you you spare the precious time for no, us. No, I appreciate. Yeah. I well, highly you. appreciate that you invited me thank and you. with such a kind person such as Professor Leonardo. Yeah. My message uh, would be: see, uh, I shared my example that there are. I had a lot of papers when I started into started the PhD. Yes. I could have counter argued yeah. with my supervisor. I could have based on my reading because since I'm since I'm doing reading over long period of yeah. time. So like if I'm into my forties now, yeah. it's like good thirty years. I've been reading various books, right. Aladdin stories and Alice in Wonderland yeah. and Ashwak yeah. and yeah. you name it. Oh, so quite a variety of... that yeah. I, I love to read. Yeah. So reading is not a profession, but just a passion. I would yeah. say. We used yeah. to spend. It was the culture of the house that we used to do it. Yes. So I could have counter argued with her that no, miss, this yes. could have gone this way. This could have this way. I could have explained it in a better way. Yeah. But I let her do what she wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That doesn't mean after forty-five papers I cannot counter argue, but it's yeah. a matter of respect. Yeah. So my first message would be that respect your elders respect yes. your supervisors yes. Yes. if you go with this heart you will get something yes. i have seen that sometimes a teacher is able to teach but he or she is not doing by himself or herself yes. how yes. because the follower needs that thing so allah gives that thing to the teacher yes. and why this teacher will reach to you because you have such a heart yes. who wants to learn yes. something this is one thing that respect your supervisor Yeah. respect to your teacher and see them with a positive heart one thing yeah. secondly personal aims and personal contributions are important yeah. but now this word belongs to networking yeah. this word belongs yeah. to the contribution making contribution in others lives right. so become right. successful reach to a point whatever point satisfied you in this life there should be some point which satisfied you you will say okay this is my bracket Yes. This is ultimate high I wanted to be. No, if few people are there, I want to bring them there as well. Yeah. Okay, to bring yeah. this gap in their lives. Yeah. So once you reach to a point, either it's a low point, others might be telling you. Yes. There is a very mm-hmm. nice concept they call FOMO. Okay. This fear of missing out in psychology. Okay. <laughs> When people see that, okay, everyone around me is very successful. Yes. So don't worry about yes. others. Yeah. If they are successful. Yes. Yes. let them be successful yeah. i would see that success depends upon how much you contribute in others lives wonderful so try to contribute in others lives yeah. and one last thing i always uh, remember my grandmother uh, she passed away may allah rest her soul in heavens amen amen so mummy yeah. she used to say that uh, she used to give me this dua this prayer mm-hmm. that may you get the secrets of those who are rude to you Oh. so i never knew that what is this thing yes. but with the passage of time what she wanted to say that usually someone who is rude to us someone who is strict on us we tend to avoid him or her right but she used to say and she wanted to say that try to be with them yes. learn why they are the way they are yeah so the secrets yeah. of those people who are rude to you yeah. she used to say may allah give you the yeah. secrets of those who are rude to you so my <laughs> blessing to my friend is also the same fantastic <laughs> yeah. so may may god give all of us and may allah give all of us the secrets of those who yeah. are rude to us rude. this yeah. is research yeah. <laughs> so, so, wonderful. so wonderful yes yeah, so wonderful <laughs> so your message is to give respect to the your supervisor try to listen to them yes. because they are the guide yes. they will tell us uh, once uh, and we you have put it in a very uh, right way that actually they are there yeah. to safe guard us so we have to believe yes. on them yeah we we yes. need to trust yes. them that they are yes. our senior and they are our uh, guider and let them guide us in a right direction and secondly yes. that, again your point is very valid and very right that we should contribute and others life most of the time yes. we are only yes. considering to ourselves we are not considering yes. the other so that is the main contribution and if you could remember sarkashiv that when we were discussing for this webinar that we we were discussing that actually we are doing it for the community uh, yeah. just because for the contribution so that we could help the students and researcher to get this journey with smoothly and in a way that they could contribute in a better way again yes. uh, thank you so much uh, it was a wonderful session with both of you 
And uh, once again, I'm highly obliged and I'm highly thankful to you people for sparing such a precious time of yours and giving the uh, this important uh, uh, talk on the, our platform. Uh, I'm sure a lot yeah. of students have learned a lot of things from you as a Professor oh. Neorodo oh. has uh, shared his experience and stories and you have also, uh, Sarkashif, explained your stories of your PhD and your all these things. And uh, I, I could see that uh, you know, when once you are talking, uh, the, the reading habit actually were, we could see in the different talks, the different things were coming. So I was just guessing that you now <laughs> the more you read, it comes out in somehow in some way. <laughs> the same way, yeah, yes. the same way the Professor Nirodo, when he was sharing his hardship uh, and the hard things which he has mm. gone through. And that's why you have reached to this level that people actually wanted to uh, listen to you people. Why? Because God has given you the status, the authority, and uh, we should then facilitate the others in that perspective. And I really appreciate the uh, Professor Nirordo efforts that from so where much. he came to this level mm. that he is a world-renowned personality nowadays and a lot of admirer of yeah. him is there. And the same goes for Sarkashif, you as well. A lot of admirer, a lot of students are trying to follow you. That is the you. The, the, that is the contribution of us. And uh, inshallah, we will be uh, coming up with the other session with you too as well, because we are receiving a lot of, uh, a lot of requests that please engage them again for the next session. Yeah, that would be again a wonderful session with you people. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, uh, inshallah, we will have other sessions as well. So thank you very much well, for your uh, students, all the community who are watching live on the globe. Thank you for uh, having us and the respected guests. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Thank Bye. You. Bye. 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 Bye